They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in the truth, your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sake I consecrate myself, that they also may be sanctified in truth. I do not ask for these only, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, just as you, Father, are in me, and I in you that they also may be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. This is a part of the high priestly prayer of Jesus, a prayer to his Father just before his coming suffering and his death. And here Jesus is asking that those who follow him should be made holy just as he is holy. And the word that is used here is a very strong word. It means being made holy in sacrifice, for the sake of sacrifice. Just as a sacrifice is holy, so we are to be made holy. And it is exactly the same word that Jesus uses for his own sacrifice, uh, which of course was perfectly holy. And this holiness is holiness in the truth. Quite often people speak of the high priestly prayer as a prayer about the unity of Christians. And that is correct, of course. Uh, but it is not mere unity. This is not just an aggregation of people gathered together. This is unity in the truth of the good news of Jesus Christ. Every aspect of that good news, how that reveals to us uh, God's uh, person and God's purpose, how it reveals to us our own sinful nature and a world gone wrong, how God is to put his world right with himself. Uh, all of that is part of the truth in which we are to be one. And this oneness in the truth, this unity in the truth is for the sake of the world. Uh, we are not to be of the world, but we are not to be taken out of the world either. We are here for the sake of the world so that by the truth of Jesus, the world may continue to be changed from day to day and hour by hour, from person to person, from people to people, from nation to nation. Mm -hmm.